Guys, did you know that radium was discovered in 1900 by Frederick Ernest Storm while he was studying the products of radium? You know what's even cooler? Uranium, which was named after Uranus, was discovered in 1789 by Sir Martin Heinrich Klaproth when he was studying the mineral pitchblade. You guys want to hear something really interesting? Yeah. yeah. Radium was discovered by Mary and Pierre Curie in France because they were trying to get uranium from pitch blend, which is the main source of uranium. And then when they were removing it from pitch blade, which is brown, and has a certain luster to it, they discovered there was more radioactivity in the byproduct than in uranium, which meant there was a more radioactive metal in the byproduct of uranium. So they investigated and what do you know it was. So they named it radium, which comes from the Latin radius, which means ray. Also, the elements number in the periodic table. Stop it! Okay. You wanna know what's even cooler? In 1941, Glenn T. Seaborg discovered plutonium, named after Pluto. Are you sure? I swear. At Cal Berkeley. Oh. No. And well, due to war secrecy, it kept it unannounced until 1948. Oh. I'm sorry. What was that? I don't know. That's so weird. Oh, whoa, whoa. it's long. Whoa. Fletcher. No. Fletcher. Alright. Fletcher. Fletcher. I'm Dr. Uh, Radioactus Metallicus. You and your friends were in an accident recently where um, some radioactive material exploded and you were exposed to it. You in particular to uranium. It's alright. Nothing to worry about. You may experience some side effects, however. Um, side effects may include does, you may dissolve an acid, so I don't recommend uh, going near any acid. Tarnish in air, so always wear a coat outside. <laughs> you may ignite sp spontaneously when finely powdered, so don't get crushed by anything. You're ductile now, so you can conduct electricity. And you're highly reactive, so don't get angry, because you'll explode. Okay, Mr. Grizzly, wake up! <laughs> Mr. Grizzly. So I've recently been informed that you've been exposed to radioactive material and you have been exposed to radon and you will <laughs> you will have some symptoms. What symptoms? Well the first one is you're unreactive so you're pretty much invincible but you do have a high risk of lung cancer. What? It's a very deadly gas. I'm sorry. And it's highly radioactive so don't get around to it. And on snow days, you might want to dress a little warm because you glow in the dark in lower temperatures. And the last one is you have a short half-life, so you should die in about six days. Radioactive, radioactive, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, you're awake. Mm -hmm. um, I have something to tell you. You were exposed to radium, and some of the symptoms of that is like, you're probably going to oxidize on exposure to air, and also when you go in the air, you're going to turn from pure white into black. You're also going to be luminescent. And now you're going to corrode in water to form radium hydroxide. And the last symptom is you're going to be extremely volatile. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. Don't forget fire. All right, Mr. Jones. I got yes, some. Doctor. I got some bad news for you. What kind of bad news? All right. You've been exposed to plutonium, so plutonium. you can spontaneously fission. Yeah, uh, you're exposed to alpha when if you have been ex exposed to alpha decay. So technically, you're always gonna have a fever. Are you kidding me? Uh, so you, you can you will slowly oxidize at room temperature all the time. Of course, of course. Uh, uh, when you're humid, anytime you're humid, readily react. You readily react to plutonium dioxide. Always happens. Huh? If you're ever grounded into particles. Under one millimeter, you will spontaneously combust at 150 degrees Celsius. Great. Just great. Guys, guess what? I can do this. Uh... <gasps> Whoa! Well, I can do this. No! Well, I can do this! What can you do? With your brain. I can cure bone cancer. Take it. It's oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Barbara, you're fired. Okay. Alright, let's see. No, no, no. I'm not Barbara. <laughs> no, you gotta do something like this. You turn around and say, Barbara, you're fired. <laughs> hey guys, did you know that you're. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey guys, did you know that Uranus, <laughs> Uranus was discovered in 17... <laughs>